Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing with you Google Wallet vs Samsung Wallet. Best tab to pay app. Before we start, hurry up and check out these off purchases under this video. Let's get started. So you may be deciding between Samsung Wallet here and Google Wallet and you're wondering what are the differences here? What are the perks of using them? Well, in this case, we'll be discussing those. So let's start with Samsung Wallet. So Samsung Wallet is designed specifically for Samsung phones. So if you're using Galaxy device, this app feels like it fits perfectly. It's deeply integrated into the system. You can launch it in a few different ways by swiping up or even double pressing the power button. Now, in this case, if you prefer the double press here, it's going to be a lot faster and more con uh, consistent. Now, when Samsung Wallet really shines is security. I always ask for a fingerprint, pin or some form of verification before you pay no shortcuts here now that extra step might seem a bit annoying at first but in the long run this it actually gives you peace of mind especially if you ever misplace your phone now in this case it's not just about payments here samsung wallet can also store loyalty cards digital car keys and even passwords through samsung pass now that's a feature google wallet doesn't quite match here and when it comes to supported banks or cards, Samsung makes it really easy to check. The app shows logos and visual instead, uh, visuals instead of just a plain list, which feels more user friendly. Now, the only downside here, it's only exclusive to Samsung devices. Now, if you're not using a Galaxy phone or watch, you're out of luck here. It simply won't install. Now, next is we have Google Wallet. Now, in this case, let's shift to Google Wallet here, which is available on basically any Android phone that has NFC, not just Pixels, but also Xiaomi, OnePlus, Motorola, and a lot more. It's even the default on most Wear OS smartwatches, and in this case, so you've got a lot more flexibility. Now, adding cards is just easy on the Samsung Wallet. Take a photo, tap the card, or type it in manually. And one nice perk is that you've used, if you've used that card with Google account before, Wallet remembers it and offers to add it instantly. It's a small thing, but it actually saves a lot of time for you. Now, Google Wallet also works great beyond payments. You can store event tickets, flight passes, loyalty cards, and even buy now pay later cards. What makes it stand out is how well it in integrates with your email and apps. So if you get concert tickets in Gmail, you can show up in, or in this case, it can show up in Wallet automatically. Samsung can't really match that level of convenience. It also gives you more detailed transaction history. So after you pay, Google Wallet shows not just the amount and store name, but even the map, uh, the map, a map pen where you spent money a transaction ID, and a button to call the store directly if something goes wrong. That kind of detail is useful when you're checking your expenses. Now, in this case, the security side is where Google used to be weaker. For a while, you could pay without verification at all, but these days, they've improved it. Now, it, in this case, now it sometimes asks for a pin or fingerprint, but not always. So compared to Samsung, it's still a bit more than X, which might not be ideal if you lose your phone or if kids are playing around with it. So, yeah. So in this case, you might be wondering which one should you choose here? So in this case, if you're a Samsung phone owner and want maximum security and integration with things like Samsung Pass, Samsung Wallet is the safer bet here. Now it's built for very every of to verify every single payment and offers a quick access from multiple places. Now in this case, if you Board, uh, value broader device support, smarter integration with your Google account, and extra features like automatic pass syncing from Gmail or apps, Google Wallet is incredibly convenient here. Now, even if it's a little bit more laid back on security. But at the end of the day, both are reliable here, smooth, and work well offline too. So your choice just depends on what you care about more, so tight security or Samsung exclusive features, but yeah, or Google integration and wide com com uh, compatibility. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.